Hey guys, Finn the Demon here, coming to you from my uh, messy game room. Uh, gotta clean it up, got a lot of new pickups that have not found a home yet. Some rearranging that I gotta do. You guys know how that goes, I'm sure. You get some new games and uh, your shelf is... can't handle it. So, some other games get that shelf and then those games get a new... You know the process, I'm not gonna go on and on. Got some pickups here. First off, uh, for the Sega Master System, I've been really craving that because uh, of some YouTubers here. It really got me in the mood. And that's uh, My Hero on the card. So that's really cool. Got these for a really good deal on the auction because they uh, had beginning feedback. I got these off eBay. F1 Fighting Falcon is the next one. And this one was really cool because when I went to take it out to play it, there was a uh, Super Tennis inside, not the sleeve. The sleeve was on My Hero. Uh, Super Tennis inside there and that they didn't know about or they threw in. I don't think they knew about it because it's kind of stuck together. So three games that made the duo even sweeter. It's just that was a I can't even remember how much I paid but I think it was like five dollar range shipped so that's a great deal. Uh, picked up for the girlfriend here Spy Borgs um, for the Wii. I, haven't, I didn't hear about this game. It's Capcom published. I like their stuff and four dollars and forty four cents. After my 30% off, it was like, for 35% off, it was really next to nothing, and it looks really fun, so why not, right? Game I saw come in today, and when it got, I, I wanted to play, I just passed me by somehow, and I love Mario's, and then I kind of forgot about it, and I was like, oh, I got both Mario Galaxies, and the new Super Mario Brothers, and the anniversary, you know, I was like, man, those are some good games, but I'm filling some Mario, I don't know what to play now, and then I see this Paper Mario, completely forgot about it. You can twist it from 2D to 3D. Pretty cool. Excited. I'm really closing in on my Dreamcast collection, so now when I see the few games out there for the US Dreamcast that I don't have, I snag them even if they're disc only. Make my own cases until I run across a complete. Just to get that out of the way and work on the one that really makes me nervous, that uh, Japanese Dreamcast collection. It's going to take a while. So uh, today I got a couple of these. They're a dollar only because disc only is at my work are a dollar, so these are 65 cents each for me, uh, Sega GT, 65 cents, how can you pass up that, right, and Championship Surfer for 65 cents, I mean, great deals on the Dreamcast front, uh, got these two games out of the way, so that's really cool, uh, Conquest of the Crystal Palace, I don't know anything about this game at all, I don't know if it's rare, common, whatever, it just, I was alphabetizing the NES games and looking for a couple uh, NES games for a friend, I brought my list, and going through them real good and I found this game for myself it just caught, caught my eye and it started screaming my name I had to have it that's why it's here I traded in some stuff today like a couple power bricks from 360 and those for some reason I get good trading credit for that so I got like 40 bucks and it was just scraps from my collection and I helped out the store too so it's you know a triangle of winning Carnival Quico Sega 2600 Good. Dollar. Fun. Awesome. Quake 3 for the Dreamcast. Missing the cover, I can get this. I've had this game over before, and uh, this one's a mint shape. I love Quake 3. I love it with the keyboard and the mouse and everything. And now, uh, complete. Um, got it mainly for the back of it. So, But anyways, it's a really good game. Rygar. I don't pick up NES games from the off the internet very often, I just, I don't know why, I, uh, NES games I always get off in the wild, and I've wanted to play this game, I've wanted it, I've had the Rygar itch lately, I think that's how you pronounce it, um, bad with pronunciations of video games, I'm always butchering publishers and stuff, sorry about that, anyways, I know the game's fun, has some corrosion, kind of bad shape, if I see this again, I'm going to pick it up, this is five screw, Girlfriend went to Goodwill, got a pretty good score. Separation Anxiety for the Sega Genesis. Complete. Kid wrote in the next note section, sloppy handwriting and pen. Aggravating, but maybe it will help me beat the game. It was his game, you know, so what am I going to do? Great game, three bucks. I don't know if it was a price tag or not, but this was pretty good. Good find. I wanted it for a while. Gauntlet, she brought this home as well, and it's an amazing game, it's complete, really good condition, really clean, you know, so, really good shape, I'm happy to have this. And another Gauntlet, Dark Legacy, I'm collecting all the Midway games, they were one of my favorite publishers and arcade companies, and when they went out of business, it really, you know, hit home pretty good, and really hurt my, I don't, 
it's kind of weird, you know, get choked up about stuff like that. Like when Grim went under just recently, it, it kind of hurt my feelings. Because I know everybody hated their games, but I like their games. I'm getting choked up talking about it. I guess I'm a weirdo, but I really do feel that way. I don't just say that. I picked up a uh, Super Empire Strikes Back for the Super Nintendo. I got this finally. I'm happy. All right. Now, um, I, Retro uh, Gamer Magazine, really cool guy, 1MSX to go, I always tell you to rec can't recommend this channel enough because he's an awesome guy. I was reading one of the Retro Video Game Magazines he sent me, and uh, there's a great piece on Virgin in there. This is the only game I didn't have, I played it, beat it, had it when I was growing up. That was complete. These haven't been processed through yet, so like, they're still they're gross, but they'll be good. I'm so happy to finally have this game. This was awesome. Uh, I don't get any discounts on new games, but it's pretty awesome. And this, we're going to open this up together. Not right now, but I guess we could. No, like five episodes down the road. So that will be really cool. Look forward to that. And this was a game I saw today that just, I know it's not worth much. I, I picked it up for a good deal, 340 and 35% uh, off. It's from the Craters of Space Invaders. And the reason. It just really caught my eye to put it go up. I look at the back of it and the screenshots. My camera's not going to pick that up. I'm going to put some screenshots right there and right there. And uh, see these two screenshots. It look, looks like zombie revenge, but with like plants and aliens. And it looks fun. Can't pass up a good time. I was playing and I'm, I'm chatting with a really cool guy. Um, it's uh, Lom's Lom Boys Post. Lom Boys Post, I believe. I'm sorry if I got that wrong. We've been talking about NBA Jam, and uh, recently over at the Goodwill, my girlfriend brought me home NBA Hoops. I want this game uh, for the Dreamcast, but it's like $10 for a basketball game, and I was getting the sports games last, I'm still confident I'll find it for a dollar somewhere, so I kind of had the opportunity to get that one on Dreamcast and just let it go, but I'm sorry I did because this is a really fun game. Three on three, Midway, awesome. It's like NBA on NBC on the Dreamcast by Midway, but, but better. It, it's a great game. So when I was alphabetizing Xbox games for 99 cents, so 65 cents, and actually I think this one of the buy free, get one free, I didn't pay for it at all. NBA Jam for the Xbox? What? I knew about the new one, I didn't know about this one. It's a claim. But, I mean, I'm pretty happy about this one. I'm going to play some of this tonight. I hope it works on my 360, but if not, I got a couple black Xboxes. So cool. Another game for my Dreamcast. Star Lancer. Got this. I thought I had it. It was Armada I had. I don't know how I got those two confused. Kept looking at my collection. I'm like, I have Star Lancer. I couldn't find it though, so I'll buy it and now I'll be like, hey, in my Dreamcast there's a copy of Star Lancer. This was a weird game to find today, if you will. It's kind of rare. It's not, like, rare, but it's uncommon. It's Ben Hur. This is the PAL game. Didn't come out here, I don't think. And, uh, really good shape. I'm going to find out about this, see if I can play it. And, you know, if you want this game, you've been looking for it, shoot me a PM. We'll work something out, you know? It's really cool. I had to pick that up. This, I don't usually do non-relating game things. It's laughing in the bag. And, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles VHS. This is the last one I needed. Now I have all four from the Burger King Kid Club series. See how it says collect all four titles? Really took that seriously. Got them all in the wild. Pretty neat, huh? Need for Speed Carbon. Need for Speed Most Wanted. Complete. And Pokemon Coliseum. Complete. To get these three games for five dollars, unfortunately, I had to take on another one of these. But uh, girlfriend's gonna try to do some console mods and uh, make this into something really cool that still works. So let's see how that works out, and uh, we'll be doing a video about that in the future, probably every step of the way. So until that happens, you know, it's, it's in good shape. I mean, if you really want this thing, and it's like, man, I need the silver one. I got every color but the silver one, and shoot me a PM, and we'll work something out. Cause I got this black one she can paint. And, uh, I don't want to paint that, you can have the I don't care about a game cube, they're everywhere.